Hello, my name is Wu Yang, work for the City Contest Solution Division of Manographics. Today, I'd like to show you a feature in the test and yield inside called the RCD to automate the volume diagnosis analysis and the PFA candidate picking. Diagnosis driven yield analysis is to analyze volume diagnosis results and try to find our root causes and also pick the dye for PFA. However, we all know that diagnosis results have ambiguity or noises. In this particular example here, you can see this layered word diagnosis have a very good diagnosis resolution. The suspect, however, is across several metal layers, and the real defect probably is one of them. To analyze the relation between the real defects and the defect distribution from the diagnosis results, we did some experiment by injecting faults. Here, we injected two faults, layer two short and uh, layer three open, which are represented by the red bars here on a bunch of dye, then running through the diagnosis. The results from the diagnosis shows the defects distribution is quite different from the real defects injected. A lot of things here, which are represented by the blue bars, are noises. In monographics, we developed a new methodology called root cause deconvolution, which uses a specialized algorithm to eliminate the noise and it determines the online root causes. Also, it helps you to pick the dye and the suspect for failure analysis. After applying the RCD on the diagnosis results, the defect distribution represented by the green bar here is closely correlated to the red bars which we inject faults. This helps the overall diagnosis resolution and the final root causes for the real defect. If you want to learn more about the RCD and its application, we have some publication for you. You can refer to IEEE Design and Test of Computers back in 2012. Next, I'm going to show you a demo to go through the whole process. Now I bring up Test and Yield inside the statistical learning tool. First, I will open the ADB analysis database contains the diagnosis results. Second, I open the layered database. It contains the matching information between the netlist and the layout, which is represented by the left F. You can see roughly I have about 1,000 diagnosis reports. I will select all of them to create a population. Once the population is created, I now get into the analysis dashboard area where it contains lots of signatures. We can quickly glance through them. These signatures can be analyzed interactively or manually by the users to give you a different view on the volume statistical learning results. Here I'm going to show you an automated way to do the analysis for you, to give you the defect distribution Pareto and also guide you to find out the right suspect die for PFA. This is the RCD. So for the 980, I double click the RCD signature the tool is going to perform multi-threading analysis. In a matter of few minutes, it's going to show you a different distribution Pareto. Once the RCD is done, it provides a defect distribution Pareto called RCD sum of probability. Here, it gives 10 root causes comparing to hundreds of possible root causes out of the volume diagnosis. RCD has significantly reduced the number of root causes and eliminated the noises. In this Pareto, you can see the top ones are open layer 2, bridge layer 2, bridge layer 3, and via 3. These are good starting points to do the further analysis. If I double click the RCD suspects at the bottom of this window, it brings us into the RCD suspects table. Each Root cause is listed in the column, in each column. If my focus here is on the open layer 2, I can sort the header of this column based on the RCD suspect probability, which is calculated based on the root cause distribution, critical area, and diagnosis resolution. The table lists the correspondent symptom 
and a suspect ID, which is going to guide you for the die picking for PFA. I usually pick the die with the suspect probability of 90% or above. So for this open layer 2 issue, this 5 die are good for PFA candidates. If I double click the row, it brings me to their diagnosis report and I can check the layout viewer to see whether it's a good candidate for PFA or not. So here you can see my focus will be a layer 2 open out of this giant net. To me, I think it's a good candidate for PFA. Next, if I want to look at the layer 3 bridge issue, I can sort it based on the RCD suspect probability. And you can see for this one, you have quite a lot of good candidates for PFA with their score 90% or above. In this case, you can pick the top view to look through the layout viewer and see whether they are good as a PFA candidate. This one shows a very long bridge net on the layer 3. Another example I'm going to show you is if that diagnosis report has multiple suspects. In this example, this one has open layer 2, bridge layer 3, and bridge layer 2, three suspects. And according to the RCD suspect table, we are only going to care about the layer 3 bridge. So you can see out of this giant net, there are two possible root causes. And our focus will be on the layer 3 so that I'm going to disable this one and only look at this layer 3 bridges. So this will be a good PFA candidate. I hope this short demo gives you some ideas on how to use RCD to automate volume diagnosis data analysis and to guide you through on die and suspect picking for Philly analysis. Thank you so much for watching.